Hi. Turns out every time I make fun of kids' content, everyone seems to like it. I think it's because I'm an uncle now. Junkle, an uncle who likes gent. So all this stuff, the reactions are genuine to me. I genuinely would not want to, as an uncle, have my nieces and nephew be subjected to these inappropriate cat shows. Okay. I can't seem to get happy. Maybe this will help. Oh! Oh! <laughs> okay! Wow! For a second there, I literally thought Squidward was gonna hang Spongebob. <laughs> Honestly, I think it would make Squidward happy if he hung Spongebob. All right, Grunkle Stan, where did you hide that card? Nothing. 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 Ew. Pretending I never saw that. Okay, whoa, 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 okay, not inappropriate. Let's go back to that. Fully clothed women, not inappropriate. It's insinuated, but it is appropriate. I'm sick of the mall. How about a ride? You like that car more than me. Who's talking about car? Oh, <laughs> whoa, whoa, chosen show! Although, although, okay, look at it this way. He's not talking about a car. It doesn't necessarily mean he's implying to ride him. Maybe he has a motorcycle. Maybe he wants to take her for a ride on his wiener mobile. Holy schnitzel is strong enough to lift the buns of steel. I've never seen buns that big. I have, but let's leave Truffle's mouth around of this. What was that? Nothing, nothing, dear. Okay, schnitzel, time to grab my enormous buns. <laughs> Everything was fine up until the <laughs> movements. Inappropriate. Like, creepy, Grandpa. Oh, it was so innocent. You know, I'm calling the show dirty, but the first thing I saw was a pair of titanium t okay? And we have zero context. Like, why did he make buns of steel in a kid's show? I made this sculpture with my own two hands. It's covered in my blood, sweat, tears, and other fluids. Oh, what? No, they can't just outright what? This is overdubbed. Did she really say that? And other fluids. Yep, she said it. Okay, well, look, unidentified fluids are not always a bad thing. Hmm? Blood, sweat, tears, water. Water can be classified as other fluids. You guys just have disgusting minds and are very immature. <laughs> fluids. Let me ask you this. What do you get when you combine Lord of the Rings with simulation strategy? Well, you get the sponsors of today's video. The fun and exciting Lord of the Rings Rise to War. This simulation strategy takes place in Middle Earth and it is up to you to choose a faction, build relationships with the commanders you trust, and decide which skills you want them to have based on your strategy. All the while conquering other tiles in Middle Earth to collect resources needed to expand your army and upgrade your facilities. And that's really where the strategy aspect of the game really shines. You decide the skills you want to implore, you decide which resources you want to collect, you have the say in how to run your faction, so if you fail, that's on you. But if you are a true strategist, perhaps you will succeed. If you're the winner, gonna put a ring on it. Yeah. And here's something Lord of the Rings fans are gonna squeal over. The beautiful 3D renderings of Middle-earth are true to the original settings in the Lord of the Rings books and movies. So explore these familiar settings to your heart's content with the characters you know and love. The war to control Middle-earth isn't gonna babble itself, so if you think you have what it takes to put a ring on it, use my link in the description or scan my QR code to download the game. And if you do, I'm gonna give you a reward, which is super Gandalfy of me. I'm gonna give you the limited Hobbits and Adventure Pack. Just as a thanks for supporting my sponsors and of course supporting my channel. So download Lord of the Rings Rise to War. I'll see you in the game. Here you are, Monsieur Fuagra. I can assure you it is 100% pure. Excellent. Gentlemen, we're about to make a lot of bread. Now that is how you hide inappropriateness. Me personally, I love flour. <laughs> <laughs> on flower. Relax. He's one of us. Wanna beast. How you doing? 
My legs are fine, as is the rest of me. Up here... Whoa, she's got the fire of the cheetah in her. What up, Maggot Chad? Buddy walks around without a shirt, all ripped. And the second he meets a woman, he's like, nice to meet ya. Like, I mean, it's a kid's show. <laughs> Why would they have a superhero staring at a... And, you know, did the animators have to animate such perky teeth? I cannot even do this. I literally can't even do this video. Look, okay, it, it is a kid's cartoon. I mean, did you really have to give her double Ds? But maybe he was staring at her really, really nice set of bow tie. Is that not possible? He was staring at her bow tit tie. <laughs> we'll move on. Ladies and gentlemen, behold, the sass crotch. The sass crotch? <laughs> okay, yeah, I'm, I'm a sucker for a play on words. Spin them around, you got ass squatch. Or you can go with the whole Bigfoot theme, big, Big crotch? Big foot dick foot? Oh, that sounds like a disease. I've got a serious case of dick foot. It's hard to walk. I'll stop. What? Ah! That underwear has a stain! An unidentified stain! Those are the worst. You happy punching the bag or you want to go a few rounds with me? I am talking about sparring. That'd be nice too. Oh, 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 wow. Way to be subtle about it. Meanwhile, she's just undressing herself. Again, another cartoon character who's, uh, I, whew, 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 <laughs> That can't be a kid's show. They would not be that blatantly. Uh. Good morning, Miss Taylor. <gasps> now, if you open your textbooks to page 69. <gasps> page 69? Really? You had every number in every language ever and you chose 69. That is freaking hilarious. Yeah, uh, to learn about the birds and the bees, I can't think of a more appropriate number for that page to be on, actually. I don't like even know any of these shows. Like, I grew up with Mr. Rogers and Barney and I turned out this way. What about this upcoming generation that grew up with shows like this? Making 69 jokes. Mr. Rogers didn't do any inappropriate stuff, did he? Where is Tolman? Here I am. Here I am. Good. You can play this, right, Bimo? Yes, Queen. It goes in my butt. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it goes in my butt. Uh, I'd be afraid to press eject. Um, why does a TV have a built-in VHS on the back? How peculiar. <laughs> yeah. They got all the details just right. Speak for yourself. I keep having to remind myself that these are kids shows. I'm like, <laughs> that's funny. Oh wait, this is meant for children. What was this? What was this? Oh, hmm. <sighs> it's accurate. <sighs> There's lint. Was just looking for the sports channel, Gary. Was that sponge porn? What the hell even was that? I got I gotta be honest with you, kinda looks like a Muppet day. <laughs> so your good old buddy Stevie T did a little bit of research because I'm an education channel. This here is a sea anemone. Anemone. It's a sea anemone, which is actually a predatory animal of the sea. And it also just so happens to be SpongeBob's fetish. <laughs> I, I would be more embarrassed switching to sports. So long, lad. Make me lots of money. Bye, Squidward. Bye, Mr. Krabs. Bye, Squidward. You said bye, Squidward twice. I like Squidward. <laughs> oh. Okay, so we know SpongeBob is into sea anemones and Squidward. Today you have learned Spongebob's fetishes. Education channel. Hey Cosgrove, how come you never got married? Cause I like meat too much. You could be married and still eat a lot of meat. I didn't know that. <laughs> oh, oh, what? 
I wonder if these would be funny if they were in adult shows, you know? Just whack the weasel, silly. Just whack the weasel? Yes. Mm. If you win, tickets come out. Oh, whack the weasel. I don't like the sound of that. Oh, I think that's a thing, too. Oh. You couldn't have called it whack-a-mole? Is that a copyrighted term? You couldn't just call it whack-a-mole or slap the salami? Please stop watching. It's hard to keep nuts in your mouth when you're crying. <laughs> it's hard to keep nuts in your mouth when you're crying. Well, mm, they don't specify what kind. Well, you know what, that, that could uh, that could be innocent. I went straight to dirty again. Hmm. I think my brain needs to be washed out with soap. I'm glad the clip stopped there. I don't want to know what was going to pop out next. Is that like the open sesame equivalent of whipping it out? Just stand at the urinal. Moby Dick. Ooh. And I had those flames out before the firemen even stepped off their trucks. That's fast. <sighs> Fastest man alive. Which might explain why you can't get a date. Yeah. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? Quiet. <laughs> I love how Batman is having none of this immaturity. <laughs> okay, hear me out. Maybe she's implying he's too fast so that no woman would ever want to travel with him because they just can't keep up with him. Although those hand motions are making me really uneasy. <sighs> I can't even trust kids' shows for my nieces and nephew. Nothing is safe for them to watch anymore. <laughs> like, the magic school bus. We had the magic school bus. They even had a full episode dedicated to going inside a human body. Not once did they make reference to an anus or a peenie or breasticles or that is a kid's show that is appropriate. These shows are probably gonna make the next generation frickin' hilarious. Look, doubloons! Don't drop them. I, I just can't. Really? A drop the soap joke? I gotta pee. Yeah! <laughs> Holy dick! Oh baby, oh baby, oh baby. Rocco! Mrs. Bighead? This dog works at a stress hotline. Oh. <laughs> okay, if you called the stress hotline and a dog answered the phone, you'd be pretty weird to stay on the line. I mean, they even put an ad in the paper, specialty phone operator. Why would they hire a dog? Maybe it's a poon hound. Ah, hmm. I, yeah, you know, I'm done. That's three strikes. <laughs> oh, you better not get your goop in my hair. Don't worry. It comes off with ice or peanut butter. Lovely. and I don't like this. I would not want to explain that. But, but, really? Did I have to say that? I can't even, you know what? I'm just gonna do the rest of this in sign language. Okay. I don't know what has come over me tonight. I just said, come over me tonight. <laughs> okay, as I was saying though, but at least they didn't show where he put the coin. So I guess that's, Still inappropriate. We need contacts. If there was an innocent place to put the coin, we should know about it. Here we are, Barney boy, costumers. What kind of costume you gonna get? Well, uh, I'm gonna get something that makes me look tall. How about another head? <laughs> another one? What do I need three of them for? <laughs> Since when were cringy dad jokes part of kids' shows? Three heads. <laughs> 
What did you guys do? What is this mess? I can't even take a shower around here without you guys screwing things up. Did they have to do that? Okay, well look, if they put two gumballs right in the slot, then we'd have a problem. Hey, check it out. I got one. Why haven't you left yet?